what's going on YouTube it's been a while since I've put a video up on the internet so I'm posted up at this Rio Con how I say Rio Con here in Chickama you're dealing with a little bit of a summer cold right now a lot of congestion and it's a whole lot of uh, gross grossness but uh, I've been here for about a week I'll be here for about another week I am uh, sort of interning here at this Rio Con, learn a little bit about what it takes to run and maintain this establishment. It's, uh, it's got 12 rooms, um, four onsen, um, two of them are private baths, outdoor baths, and then there are two indoors, and uh, it's very nice if you get in there and you get a chance to check this place out, man, absolutely wonderful, water is amazing, makes your skin feel great, I'm a little sweaty and dirty right now because I just set up a bunch of tents for the city, uh, they're doing Obon uh, the next three days. So we just went and installed all the tents and all the tarps and everything like that. And then, I don't know if you can see the skies above me, but it looks like rain tonight. Which is uh, a little unfortunate. Hopefully it doesn't dampen the festivities. But uh, this place here, if you guys get the chance, you really need to come check this place out. It is absolutely fantastic. Indoor gardens. Onsen, uh, they cook the breakfast, they cook the dinner. It's fantastic. We're going to take a little walk around the block here, kind of just show you my uh, general area. Smoke if you got them. So, basically, this road here is the main road in town. All of the major businesses, Rio Con, uh, there's a couple convenience, post office, it's all on this road. And when you come here, you stay at the Rio Con, you're encouraged to take a bath, get in your yukata, and sort of stroll around. They actually have 10 uh, actual geisha here so that you can participate in like a geisha show they do like their little games have a meal sing a song dance whatever um, the only complaint that I have about Chikma uh, in my personal opinion is in the summertime the mosquitoes mosquitoes are really bad I've got a mosquito tattoo and it provides me absolutely no protection whatsoever but uh, as you can see behind me, back here, there's a fortress up on this hill. And uh, it's like several hundred years old. Um, there's a road just over this way where you can go down and then take a right and then go back up there. Uh, it's kind of gated off and whatever. But this is all lit up at night like a Hollywood sign. Very cool. Uh, it's a bit of a walk to get to the river, so I'm not going to go over there. It's like, I don't know, a block or so this way, but um, I have some more video that I'll be putting together and showing that off too, so um, we'll take a little uh, walk back towards the Con and uh, just show you the entrance, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and post this after I finish this. It's been a while since I posted a video, nobody really knows what I'm doing, what's going on. But I'm going to be here till the 20th, and then I'm going to head back to Tokyo. And uh, after that, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, we might end up uh, hanging out in Tokyo for a couple of days. We might end up going to uh, Osaka, Kyoto. I don't really know. Maybe we'll go hit all the uh, temples and the shrines on the Golden Route and all that. Or... Uh, Hell, I might even get on a Shinkansen and go up to Ichinoseki and see my girlfriend. I really don't know. But, uh, 
kind of the cool thing about this this uh, Rio Con is uh, when you make a reservation, you'll uh, they'll put your name up on this little black board with like a white chalk marker here. So as you can see behind me, these are guests, and they'll personalize this for you when you come, so that you know that they're waiting for you. Um, inside just on the other side of this glass over here there's a huge koi pond we got all sorts of cool stuff like the raccoon dog and all that other stuff and it's very small little town here i don't know exactly what the population is but i'm guessing it's under a hundred thousand but we're very close to nagano um i want to say about um i don't know maybe 30 minute drive by car and then there's a train station just over here and you can take a train go up to Nagano that way also so um, I'm going to put together a little bit of a video slash picture slash audio thing and send that off to Ryan and have him sort of glue it together for me so you guys can check this place out a little bit more um, probably do a little recording in the morning a little recording at night so you can get an idea of what the atmosphere of this place is if you ever get the opportunity to come check this place out though, I highly recommend it. Very, very good. So, I'm going to go smoke this cigarette, enjoy some tea. Until the next episode, peace.